What's going on guys, Eric here. Welcome back to the channel again. Look, if you've got a Facebook group and you're getting a lot of spammy messages, there's a pretty good chance that you're gonna want to filter those messages before you even approve them on your Facebook group. So what I'm gonna show you how to do is how to get there and how to go ahead and figure out if you want to keep those or if you do not want to keep those posts, what you should be doing. Because after all, once you start building your group, the worst thing that can happen is you keep getting spammy messages and it ruins it for everybody. So let's just show you how that looks. Okay, so here we are in Facebook. We're going to go to groups and let's take you directly there to the group that we want to work with. It's called Side Hustle Pursuit. And because it is a side hustle group, I tend to get a lot of spammy things in there just based on that. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is, once you're on here, you're gonna go to the left, scroll down, and you can see I've got all these posts here, right? I mean, there's a lot of spammy posts there, but what I wanna do is go down to group settings, and then from here, I can actually scroll down, and then you can see here, approve all members posts. Okay, now what that means is that I have to prove it as an admin or somebody I have as a moderator. But in this case here, I'm just gonna click the off to allow it, but you may want to click on that so that you can make sure whatever comes into the group, you can approve it first before you actually let it go. So either way, that's just so you know where it's actually at. I'm gonna click save, because now I'm actually just gonna allow post in my group. But again, you can change this. Now it says members can post directly to the group. Community home, you'll be able to see the home page from here. And that's it. It's really simple. Hope the video helps out and we'll see you soon.